a good and pretty specific rule for how much water you should be drinking over the course of one day is to take your body weight in pounds, cut it in half, and that number is how many ounces you should be consuming, again, over a 24 hour period. Now in this video in a little bit, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to maximize the benefits of that proper amount, and of course a few other details that will be in there, but let me give you an example to begin. Currently, I weigh 220 pounds. Now, ease your judgmental mind. I am 6'3", all right? It's not that bad. Uh, so 110 ounces is what I should be consuming during a day, and I do. Now, let me show you guys how I go about this, and maybe this will help somebody out there. I fill up a jug of water the night before and put it in a fridge, and I do not go to bed until the next night until that jug of water is gone. Now, I used to just do a straight up gallon because it was close to the amount that I needed. Well, come a few weeks ago, my son was getting something out of the fridge. He dropped my jug on the ground. It hit the top, busted everywhere, the whole gallon of water on the kitchen floor. It's water, I know. It could have been worse, not that big of a deal. But it made me look to get some new ones. It was over the holidays, so I didn't want to go to the store, so I went on Amazon, and I actually found this bag boy and it seemed to be even better for me. I said, okay, let's get rid of the gallon and had a two pack. And if you look closely here, I think this should be able to pick it up. This up to this line right here is 96 ounces. Now I fill it up to the tippity tippity top and I'm guessing it's going to get me about another four ounces in there at least. So I call this a cool 100 ounces. Now I'm 10 short of my amount. That is absolutely perfect. Currently, I take the beard supplement or the beard vitamins from Fable called the Juggernaut. It's got my biotin, my collagen, all that stuff. Uh, this is not sponsored by them. They have no idea they're even in this video. It just makes sense with what I'm about to talk about. To get those extra 10 ounces, this is cold. This is always in the fridge. I take it out, fill up my water, and then drink it, go about my day. I like that cold water. Now, where the other water, the other 10 ounces comes in, I don't like to take the juggernaut with cold, cold, cold water because I like to just slam it. I like to just completely get rid of it in one drink session. And so what I do is I fill up a big pint glass that I have. I think it's more than a regular size pint. I don't know exactly how many ounces it is, but it's got to be close to 10, right? Give or take a few, you're probably going to be fine. So I fill that up. I put in my juggernaut. It's room temperature just out of the tap. Take a straw, take the whole thing down, and then boom, by the end of the night, I have reached my 110. Now, let me break down some specifics that can really, really help you out. Number one, you want to spread out that those ounces, however many you need to drink in a day, as equally as possible throughout your day. It is not, even though I just talked about the juggernaut, that's the only way I can really get stuff like that down. Even though I just said that, it's not the best to go in huge chugging sessions. Some people say, right, chug one glass and then sip on one. Chug one glass the best, the optimal results are breaking it up throughout the day in small amounts. And then key, this is some real new information that's been coming out and it's been studied by ultra marathon runners and triathletes and Ironman, all that type of stuff. They really got to focus on their nutrition. The hydration is a big aspect. They have found that your body is easily accessing that water, that hydration, the nutrients from the water that we need when it is consumed with food. This can be food like crackers or celery. Drinking water is so good, but if you can give it a vehicle to get into your body properly by using some kind of food, whether it's at meals or little snacks throughout the day, that's even better. So I'm not perfect at it. I think it's impossible to drink 110 ounces or even 100 ounces while having food with every sip. I just don't think that makes sense. But when I can, I grab some crackers. I grab some cashews. I grab something that can pretzels that can really help me along the way. And I, I have no problems with hydration. It really, really, really works for me. Now to address a couple of wives tales that I've always heard that are just false. Number one, your body will tell you when you're thirsty. No, that is false. There are guys watching right now that drink less than one bottle of water a day. How do I know that? Because they reach out to me every single day and they'll say, hey man, my beard is dry, my beard's brittle, no no uh, products are solving my problem. And I say, what do you drink? And I had a guy recently, shout out to him, he said, hey, I'm a truck driver. I don't even drink really a bottle of water during the day. Uh, I just don't like to go pee. Well, that's your problem right there. So there are people that do not drink an even like small amount of water during the day. So don't give me that I'm thirsty, it'll work out business. No, your body gets acclimated to your routines and it's not going to pick those things up.
Keep that in mind. Second thing, if your pee is yellow, it's unhealthy. No, that's not true. The color of pee hydration is a factor, but there's so many other factors that go into it as well. You can have clear water, clear pee and not be properly hydrated or getting the right nourishment. You can have yellow pee and be perfectly hydrated and nourished. So both of those are just baloney. Let's get those out of there. Now, of course, the important little asterisk at the end, if you have any medical conditions, you have something wrong with your kidney, your liver, something like that, of course, see your doctor. I know anytime I make a video like this, people are like, well, did you know you can drink too much water and you can uh, drown your, yeah, of course, you guys, there are exceptions to every rule out there, no matter how extreme and unlikely they are, they exist. If you have any doubts, seek your family physician, seek a doctor, seek professional help. I am not a doctor. I'm a dude with a beard who loves studying them, who loves reading research, right? I don't even conduct any research other than my own anecdotal evidence and, and talking to people. I'm not in the lab really working on the hairs and seeing how much drinking during the day changes and stuff. I read stuff that others do, but that's it. So. If you wanna to listen to me and give it a shot, I truly believe in what I'm saying. It's worked for me, it's worked for thousands of others, but of course, when in doubt, get it checked out. Like I didn't even, <laughs> I just came up with that on the spot. That was pretty nice. And, it, and we wanna make sure we're careful with that, even with something as simple as drinking enough water throughout the day, all right? Short video, let me take two seconds, collect my thoughts, come back to you for conclusion. To conclude, your water intake level, your hydration internally is one of, if not the most important factors in your beard's health, the way it feels, the way it performs, the way it looks, all of that really hinges on are you hydrated or not. If you don't believe me, read the comment section down below. Guys, girls out there, please leave a comment with your experience with maybe a time when you were not getting enough hydration and then when you increased it in the effects you saw. It could be as simple as, I didn't see any difference, Dan, didn't work for me, or it could be, it was a game changer. It was a life changer because I'm sure you can figure out Drinking enough water isn't just good for your beard, it's good for your skin, it's good for your health, it's good for your energy, it's good for your metabolism. We could go on and on and on about the benefits of being properly hydrated, being especially that most humans walk around dehydrated, that's, that's a whole separate topic. But this is a beard channel and the effects it can have on your beard are tremendous. Additional question for you, if you don't mind sharing, I know this is personal and feel free to ignore this and you don't have to ever comment anything, but please share, if you would like to, what is your body weight and how much water do you drink a day or try to drink a day? I want to get a feel for the spectrum that's out there. And then what do you notice? Do you notice that if you miss it, you feel it? Because I do. Let's say we're traveling for a day for a family vacation or something and I'm just off on my water. My beard feels dry. My beard feels brittle. Same kind of thing. But I also start to get cramps in my legs. My calves will seize up and I'll say, yep, I did not drink enough water yesterday. That makes total sense. Let us know down below. And then of course, most importantly, do you have any questions? Is there something you would like me to go into deeper? Is there something you would like me to clarify? Maybe I didn't cover it at all and I should be able to give some information on what you're wondering. Thank you guys for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up. If you like this channel and you're new here, my name's Dan, shout out to you. Please consider subscribing. Handshake to everybody that already is subscribed and is always coming back. It means the absolute world to me. Stay bearded and stay positive.